Welcome back to Product Critique, the channel where we provide honest reviews of the latest products. Today, we're diving into Microsoft Planner, a project management tool designed to help teams plan and collaborate on projects. Let's see if it's worth your investment. Developed by the world-renowned software company Microsoft, known for its Windows operating system. In Microsoft 365 Suite, Microsoft Planner was released in 2016. Its primary focus is on enabling businesses to easily plan and collaborate on projects. So, let's take a closer look. Microsoft Planner is accessible through a web browser or by downloading the app on your iOS or Android device. To use it, you'll need a Microsoft 365 account, as personal accounts are not supported. Microsoft Planner is bundled with various Microsoft 365 Enterprise subscriptions, including the Business, Family, and Home Plans. The Business plans to include Basic, Standard, Premium, and Apps. The Basic plan starts at $6 per user per month and offers access to web and mobile versions of 365 apps. Along with Business Email and 1TB of Cloud Storage per user. The standard and premium plans include additional features like desktop apps, advanced security, and data access control. The apps plan provides access to all desktop, web, and mobile apps. For individuals, there are family and personal plans. The family plan costs $9.99 per month and covers up to six people, offering access to all Microsoft 365 services and six terabytes of cloud storage. The personal plan costs $6.99 per month and provides access to 365 apps for one account, with one terabyte of cloud storage. Unfortunately, Microsoft Planner doesn't offer a free version, which can be a drawback compared to some rival platforms. However, if you're already subscribed to Microsoft 365, it can be a cost-effective choice. But let's explore the features. Microsoft Planner uses Kanban boards to manage projects and tasks. These boards visually represent project progress, with cards representing tasks and columns indicating project stages. It's an effective way for managers to track progress and identify bottlenecks early on. Within the app, you can create multiple project plans, add tasks, and assign them to team members. The Kanban board provides a consolidated view of all assigned tasks, making it easy to monitor overall progress. Microsoft Planner allows you to sort tasks into buckets for better organization. You can create buckets to categorize tasks based on phases, departments, or any other criteria you prefer. The app also offers visual representations of task progress using pie charts and bar charts. Collaboration is a key aspect of Microsoft Planner. Team members can add comments, respond to each other, and edit documents simultaneously using Microsoft 365 services like Word or Excel. The app includes a calendar for scheduling events and the ability to capture meeting notes. The interface of Microsoft Planner is clean and minimal, reminiscent of other popular Microsoft tools like Word and Excel. Navigating between features is straightforward, ensuring a user-friendly experience. You can access Microsoft Planner via the web interface or the iOS and Android mobile apps, depending on your preference and mobility. For any issues, Microsoft provides a support and help page with FAQs and tutorials. Additionally, you can reach out to their support personnel through email or telephone. While Microsoft Planner is a solid project management tool, it faces competition from platforms like Trello. Trello offers more advanced features and a free plan, making it a strong contender. However, Microsoft Planner shines in terms of ease of use. In conclusion, Microsoft Planner is a reliable project management solution, particularly if you're already subscribed to Microsoft 365. It's simple to use and provides effective collaboration features. However, if you don't use Microsoft 365, other project management tools might be more cost-effective options. That wraps up our review of Microsoft Planner. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Product Critique for more honest reviews. 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.